Thank you for tuning in. This is episode number two, Real Men. This is Dean Pizzaferrato. It's uh, Eugene Dela Cruz. This is Bobby Soto. And Frank Carpenter. Special guest. Special guest. Frank uh, Carpenter. Who the fuck is Frank? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck is Frank Carpenter? Frank, who the fuck are you? I don't know, man. A loser, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> no one knows my name. <laughs> um, I well, I don't know you as Frank. I only know you as Casey. <laughs> well, I mean... Frank is my slave name. <laughs> it's, it's better known. Government slave name. Yeah. So Starting off to an excellent start. <laughs> off the belt. Uh, we are all Ruse Films alumni. Uh, you might recognize this guy. Uh, probably not since this is not a video podcast. Yep. Um, you might recognize the voice. Um, v. Kirk clapped. Um, acting excellence. That gem. The gem. <laughs> we're, that we're, would not die. <laughs> it would not die. And no. we apparently still milk to this day. You can yes. see the behind the scenes posted recently on the Facebook page. Any rate, uh, we're all here. How's everybody doing? Great. What's going man. on? Yeah, pretty good, man. What have you guys been watching? Um, I saw World's Best Dad. Ah, oh yeah. Then did you just watch that too? Also, just watched it. Yes. Uh, Is that Rob- the Robin Williams? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Bobcat Goldwith. Jinx. What'd you think, man? Very dark. A lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. I don't know. I thought I moved a little slowly, and but I did enjoy the Robin Williams son. Yeah. Him talking about fisting and scat porn. <laughs> and that's what all he was obsessed about. Uh, hey, man. Fisting. <laughs> shit, right? Can't get what, enough of that, what, right? What can you say? <laughs> fisting, scat play. I don't know. I'm there. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, very dark. The kid was uh, kind of a bastard. Hey, have you guys seen it, Eugene? Have you seen it? Oh, uh, no. Nah. I, I haven't seen it yet. Nope. Without spoiling it too much, it does kind of happen early on. Um, he does kind of c- tragically commit suicide. Actually, he doesn't commit suicide, does he? No. He accidentally commits. He kills himself in the worst, most embarrassing right. way yeah. possible. Like jerking off. David like, Carradine like, style. Oh yeah. wow! Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> so, as you would imagine, Robin Williams, pretty embarrassed, covers it up, and then kind of the trials and tribulations Who thereof. Cover it up? Man. Yeah. That kind of sucks, though, because David Carradine, you know, yeah, near right. the end of his life, he was yeah. like, "Fucking Bill." Dude, now yeah. he's gonna be dude jerks off with a noose around his neck. Yep. Like, like he'll sucks, never. Man. Yeah, it's I don't know, like man. every. It's a, it's gonna have like a like a little connotation next to his name. They're just like, yeah, that was fucking Bill, the jerk off guy. Yeah, the jerk off dude, <laughs> the sex know? fiend. Yeah, the guy jerking off. I mean, the heart wants what yeah. the heart wants, right? I suppose, yeah. <laughs> and he, he wanted to fucking jerk off with a noose around his neck. Hey man, I, I I'm not one to uh, judge one of. You know, person of such stature, I guess, <laughs> choking <laughs> himself <laughs> while jerking off. But you yeah. know, hey man, whatever floats your boat, yeah, it's a job done faster. Uh, exactly, yeah. so, whatever chokes your boat, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. Um, Eugene, what you been watching, man? Honestly, I haven't watched shit. I mean, the last thing I watched is probably like a full season of My Name Is Earl. Um, <laughs> You guys want to talk right about on, that? dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which it was like second season. Okay. Kind of, kind of remember where Karma screws them all over. I mean, like, as a, but besides with the movie side, I don't think I've seen anything lately. Really? I mean, with a new job and all. Yeah. yeah. You you're really, you're really milking that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've, you've only had your job for like a week, week, bro. And you're like, oh, I haven't seen shit for years since <laughs> the new job. I'm like, well, you've only been in your job for a week. Like, the last thing I saw that was new was Iron Man. I think we talked the shit out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Need to watch more movies, sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I watched Black Robin and... Hood. How was it? Oh yeah, how was it? I, I liked it. Really? it. It was a, it was a definitely a different take. Not your, uh, you know, Men in yes. Tights. I heard he only shoots an arrow twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more of about like how he becomes Robin Hood. The Batman begins of Robin Hood, if you will. Yeah, definitely more badass and rugged. I mean, like you touched upon. He's not too hip with the bow and arrow, so he's just more brunt labor, kind of soldier, grunt yeah. guy, kind of just... Well, you see, like, the whole, like, uh, like the whole deception of, like, Robin Hood, like, where he's truly, a, like, a like a thief type of thing. Like, you, he's not really a nice guy in the beginning, but he, like, cr- kind of grows to be a nice guy type of thing, which mm-hmm. was surprising because, like, in all the other movies, like... Like, all the other side characters, like, you know, King Richard and shit, he comes in, he saves the day, everybody's like, oh, fucking jerk off, yeah. 
fucking kick that dude's ass. And he comes in and fucking white horses and shit. Yeah. But, like, King Richard in this movie's an asshole. He, like, fucking, like, you know, he's like, hey, man. He's like, go over there. And then he gets shot with an arrow and shit. And everybody's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> it's like, he's a dick, dude. Like, no one likes him. Which was, which was weird. I always like in movies where the good is, like, portrayed as an asshole. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. more, it's more realistic. If, if it's an assertive guy, he's not going to be a fucking nice guy. He's going to yeah. be a fucking dick. You know. And this is like the third or fourth live yeah. action Robin Hood. So. Oh yeah. You, you gotta play. And then like, if you were to ra- yeah, if you were to rank all the Robin Hoods, where would you rank this one? I don't know. I mean, I would go with the third. I'd be in third place, and then the Kevin Costner Robin Hood, and then the Mel Brooks Robin Hood being uh, Men in Tights. No, yeah, Men in Tights, which is the most badass Robin Hood. Well, I just remember the Kevin Costner one because of that fucking Michael Bolton song. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> well, you know, it's. I hate to say it, it's catchy as fuck, though. I know, you know what dude. I mean? You like, you can't say that you weren't like a fucking fan when you're listening. You're like, God, yeah. You no, know I, mean? I watch Robin Hood, the Kevin Costner one, just so yeah. I could hear the Michael Bullen because I can't listen to the song on its own. Yeah, I gotta watch it with Robin Hood. And yeah. I gotta say, like this one was very not. Sound bite friendly because you had the Kevin Costner one. He's like to the trees, <laughs> and you're like, "Fuck, yeah. that was awesome." Is there anybody else besides Russell Crowe? I mean, is there any kind of ensemble cast? Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Yeah, that's she's right. A handsome woman. It seems like any. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Bro. She, it seems like she's in every period piece. Anything that has any kind of. Oh, she. Back yeah, in no, time, she's in there. Elizabeth. She's in Elizabeth, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, any kind yeah. of queen, ice queen. Who was she that. in Lord of the Rings? The queen. queen? The, the elven queen. Oh, the elven queen. Oh, right. Yeah. The one that goes nuts. Because I always thought that was the, the fucking witch from Narnia. Oh, the Conan Bryan looking chick? Tilda Swanson. Uh, Tilda Swanson. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess no, I was wrong. Yeah, you, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> you're yeah. very wrong, sir. She could be camp, uh, like, was it Kate Blanchett's mom, though? <laughs> this you is our weekly, like, like, like a hot gilf. Yeah. Elf. Yeah, gilf. Yeah. Gilf. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. This is our weekly real men uh, actress mix up. So, wait, <laughs> where does. That's our token. Where does uh, Robin Hood rank among Ridley Scott's? Um, I don't know, Crows. man. Like, I hear it's it seemed... no Troy. Or not Troy, excuse no, me. Whoa, Kingdom Gladiator. 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 <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, I, I watched, uh, I was listening to the uh, this interview. I don't know if you heard it, but um, he did an interview with uh, BBC. And um, the interview was like, uh, he was asking him about, like, you know, Robin Hood and his new project. And uh, he was saying his accent was uh, like a little English. Did you hear about this? Yeah, I heard about this. And he fucking like huh. was like getting mad. And, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and he apparently walked out and stuff. Because he walked out after the guy mentioned uh, uh, Gladiator. And I guess because he wanted him to like say the line or something. Like He's like, oh, are you not entertained? Like, And he, I guess he took big offense to that and walked out of the interview. Are you talking about Ridley Scott? Or no, 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 no. I'm no, talking about, about uh, Russell, Russell Crowe. Crow. So... Uh, I, I guess that I didn't answer your question. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> but I'm, what I'm saying is Real man. like, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is it is it on par with Gladiator? I wouldn't say no. I don't. Is think it better? So. Than oh hell no, no, dude. No. Um, I, I, wasn't in there. I, nah, I haven't seen that. Well, you know what I think made uh, Gladiator was Joaquin Phoenix because he was like, you know, yeah, because you you knew you knew what the character of Russell Crowe was gonna do. You know what I mean? He was basically your basic hero. You know what I mean? Like, not saying his performance wasn't good or anything, but, you know, his character wasn't as rich as, like, you know, Joaquin Phoenix. Because Joaquin Phoenix was fucking crazy in that movie. Is it better than A Good Year? <laughs> <sighs> i never seen that. Yeah. So no, you no, can't no. rank it? No. I'm going to guess it's better. I'm guessing the trailer probably yeah. is yeah. better than I'm A gonna, Good Year. Yeah. I'm going to compare trailers and say it's going to be better than A Good Year. I've never seen Good Year. Good Year is uh, Robin Hood trying to make a wine farm. Some shit. Yeah, it's Ridley Scott, Russell's Crow. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, I t- Let that soak in for a while. It's a right here, genre bro. twist. Yeah, right here, dude. Over the heads. I think because I the original question was, which is like, is it better? No, yeah, it's no. not exactly. Very no. good. Cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Uh, what have I been watching? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Gene, yeah. what have you been watching? As it turns out, I have another out-of-season holiday film. Um, I finally went last Jingle week. All the way, bro. Uh, Four Christmases. <laughs> no, joking. Uh, 
Big fan. <clears throat> Anybody yeah, catch that? Big, big fan. fan. Pat, Pat Oswalt. Pat mm-hmm. How is that? It was a okay. Sundance baby, right? Two people seen it, two people really? haven't. Very, very good. It's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Um, dark comedy, again. Just a very kind of real gritty look at uh, super fan. Um, Pat Oswalt, totally obsessed with uh, this football player. Kind of bumps into him in the middle of the night. Uh, series of events happens, tracks him down. They have a little confrontation. Needless to say, he gets his ass beat by his idol. And um, kind of he's at this point where he's in the media. Does he ride his idol out or does he kind of stay faithful to the team and make sure that the team wins the Super Bowl? Very interesting, very dark, very sad look at sports, kind of yeah. sports fandom. And uh, yeah, very, you guys should definitely check it out. Yeah, Pat so Noswell, great job. Where's the rank with. Um... The, the fan, fan, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, the no. fan. The fan. I think the it's fan. better than the Celtic Pride. Big fans Celtic Pride um, is classic. Celtic uh, Pride? King no. of the comedy. Only. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. R- r- very good assessment. Uh, Daniel Stern. In I don't know. I would say there's some kind of some cheesy dialogue between, uh, I don't know, just the Pat Oswalt and the mom. There's some kind of weird, awkward sequences. But as a whole, it's really good. I don't know. Um. It's been probably about five or six years since I've seen The Fan. I don't even know when that yeah. came out. Uh, but... I, I don't know. Is that what do you guys any know. memories of that? I mean, I just remember Robert De Niro. Kind yeah, of I just crazy. remember like the fan reminding me of The Rock for yeah. some reason. <laughs> it was very like the, sh- the way it was shot was like you know <laughs> maybe it's because it took place in San Francisco. I don't know. Yeah, was, but uh, I never saw that because I'm a huge Dodgers fan, and it's around. <laughs> it was around the Giants. So oh, like, really? Yeah. Natural hate going on. You're there. just like, man, I boycott this movie because the boycott fucking movie. giants. Because I'm Pat and Oswald, I'm big fan. What if it was like the most craziest movie ever made? I'd give it a shot. But yeah. the guy wore a giants shirt through the whole thing. I'd have, I'd hold that against it. Really? Yeah. yeah. You just be like, fuck this guy, man. Giants, he man. fucking killed aliens and punched a fucking <laughs> zombie, and he doesn't get your vote of approval because he's wearing a Giants shirt. Really? Yeah. It's little things in life. Yeah, yeah exactly. I guess. Yeah. But if you're having a bad day, watch Big Fan. Yeah, I will yeah. say the ending was very. Uh, Is it uplifting or not? Not no. the absolute end. Oh no, definitely not no. uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, the ending is not friends with the end. Feel yeah. good movie, yeah. bro. Yeah. It almost yeah. has. I mean, it, it does do a bit of a twist. It, it kind of has that reckoning of a dream, absolute darkness ending. Oh, wow. But but yeah. it kind of picks it up a little bit more. It, you're totally not. You so kill, wait, it gets you don't want to kill your yeah. You don't want to kill yourself it after worse. it gets yeah. a little bit better. Well, oh okay. No. It's well, like Precious. Did you guys see Precious? How Precious ended? No, 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 no. Happy so, but he, 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 his arm, though, right? he keeps his arm in this one. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps his <laughs> arm. And yes, the dude, dude doesn't die of an OD. Or yeah, yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, speaking of sad news, uh, two people died this Dude, Dennis week. Hopper, holy fuck. Gary yes. Coleman, Go, holy really? fuck. Yeah, the Gary canon Coleman. of Gary Coleman. Coleman. Let's, Dude. <laughs> let's live that. I don't know if this <laughs> is true. But a short conversation. <laughs> yeah, not, not to, you know, trash Gary <laughs> no Coleman. No pun intended. He's, he's very, you know. He's, I heard you know. he fell off a bed or something. Yeah. Dude, the dude was like, he died from like you know, know, complications he, of like, you know, whatever he had, you know. No, like, I heard he fell off a bed and like... <laughs> had like serious internal injuries and just never recovered. I always thought he got a raw deal, man. He was just a guy trying to make a buck. Yeah, yeah. people wouldn't let him live down that one line. I don't oh, know, man. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I, I definitely, yeah, that would suck, man. Should have bought yeah. a king size bed. Should have. Yeah. That's a high motherfucking yeah. bed. So still, dude. Dude. <laughs> I fall off that motherfucker. So you have knives on his foot of his bed. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I, I did. Oh, here we go. Here's the annual cat meowing. Hold she on. wants to talk about Gary, Gary Coleman. She, <laughs> so <laughs> to continue, yeah, I guess. But Dennis Hopper. Well, let's Dennis Hopper, man, that was surprising. You know what's sad is I wanted to watch uh, Crash because I heard it was pretty yep. good. Crash the TV series. Right? Oh, the TV series. Yeah, the yeah. TV series. I heard it was like pretty good. Okay, you know? so for, uh, we did favorite Scorsese movie last week. I think we should do the uh, your favorite Dennis Hopper movie. Ooh, d- favorite Dennis Hopper. Movie. Yes. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Dirty. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> No, I, I love them in Hoosiers, but um, cause I, Hoosiers. Uh, Easy Ride is my favorite one for him. Because I saw it with him in the theater, and I, then afterwards it was a Q&A with him. Q- and after yeah. I saw the movie, You saw I Hoosiers in theaters? No, I saw no, Easy, Easy Rider. Rider. What? There was, was a like, screening wow. of Easy Rider at the Palms. Oh, okay. Because I was <laughs> going to say, I was, like, yeah. I was like, wow, man, you must have been in your mom's stomach when you watched <laughs> yeah. that. Like, I was like... His performance Fun was fact, Bobby Soto, older than Langley, <laughs> as, as it turns out. 
does not look. He aged very well. Um, favorite Dennis Hopper flick? I don't know. I would say uh, didn't have a big part. True Romance was good. Mm. Um, Speed. I don't know. Speed. Definitely not a great movie, but it was my first what? introduction to Dennis Hopper. I don't know. Have you seen Speed? What about yeah, fucking, love Speed, bro? What about Blue Velvet? Where Blue he's Velvet. like that crazy motherfucker. That yeah. Have to see it. <laughs> oh, did not see it. Yeah. yeah. Did not see it. <laughs> Actually, if you turn into uh, this yeah. week's episode of The Water Cooler, we have Lindley mm. West on. We kind of talk about some. Uh, the filmography of Dennis Hopper. Check it out. Motion. Motion. Watch me try to hold weight with uh, Langley West's film knowledge. It's a fun, yeah. interesting. You got to bring your end game with Langley. <laughs> you do. You yes. Know that. I would say if if I had to choose, it, I wouldn't even say it's his movie, but he was in it. Mm-hmm. Is uh, the character he played in uh, Apocalypse Now? Mm. Oh yeah, that was when yeah. it was like great role. Absolutely. Yeah, like when he was that crazy fucking. You know, and I don't think he was acting. I think he was actually crazy. <laughs> no, I think they I think camera. what happened was like he got there. And he's like, look, man, we got to film this shit now. He's like, hold on. Let me go to this boat. Let me shoot up some shit. Let me fucking yeah. snort some shit um, and let's roll. Let's, let's do this. Yeah. We were actually uh, talking about that. I think that was in like 79, 80. And then um, it was right in 83. He had an absolute collapse. Like he was total drug binge after Easy Rider. Just fantastic success. Mm-hmm. Lots of money coming in. Just 14 year drug binge. He actually was found wandering in Mexican in the Mexico desert naked. Yeah. I would say though, like uh, Dennis Hopper, you know, he definitely had a life, man. Like, yeah. you know, if he had to go yeah. out, like, you know, you know, the way he did, I mean, he couldn't say that he didn't have a fucking fun yeah. time. You know what I mean? He so. did whatever the fuck he wanted to. For yeah, sure, for man. sure, dude. He, he was he was definitely one of the the forerunners of new Hollywood. I would say, yeah. you know, him and fucking Peter Jack Fonda Nicholson. and yeah, exactly. shit. You know, I mean, why have money if you're gonna spend it? Yeah, and waste it and use it all on drugs and. Some shit. Yeah, why not, man? Yeah, exactly. Dude, Robert, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Fucking. Uh, I don't know though. Cause as long as you come back, as exactly. long as you come back, as yeah. long as you have your yeah, definitely have a you comeback. Know, I, I mean, I, Robert Downey Jr. had like fucking snorted a shit ton of cocaine, ended up in like some kid's bed, like breaks into a house and ends up in some kid's bed. But you know, to to his defense, I would say, like he was like Drew Barrymore and shit. Like they, he was like already fucking. Like at a really early age. What are you talking about? Like, like, Hopper or no? Uh, uh, we do you, ro- know, you know, because I thought we not segueing. Oh, yeah. this. Oh. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Well, I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but like I Robert, but Drew Barrymore did it when she was like 14 years old. Yeah, Robert, did. Did. Dude, yeah, dude, she, she was, was like at eight years fucking old. Gertie, bro. Oh. Gertie. <laughs> wow. But yeah, but from Rob, fucking uh, ET. I think Robert Downey was already like 20 something years old. I mean, so she. She's more, you know, she was a kid. She didn't know any better. Fucking Robert Downey Jr. is like Corey, more of Corey Haim syndrome, bro. <laughs> Fucking just Every ride Corey. the H train, bro. Uh, indeed, man. Uh, yeah. Dickie right. Roberts <laughs> disease. Yeah. <laughs> Give a ch- childhood star. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, a true Hollywood yeah. fucking... Chase in and- rehab. He's just recovering. <laughs> After the uh, Dale and Steve episode two, we did not actually finish the production on that. He just stopped he just showing sucks. up. Yeah. <laughs> he had to take a stint in rehab. Betty, big news. Yeah. A lot of news. Big news. Uh, <laughs> speaking of news, lots of that going on in Hollywood and or around it. Um, would, have you guys heard anything about The Hobbit? There's a lot of interesting stuff floating around. The name dropped out. Negative. The new um, year. Well, total. As it turns out, um, yeah, one of the good ones um, is not getting treated too well by the studio system as far as, I mean, it's it's not really their fault, but MGM, uh, there's some issues with the licensing, and as it turns out, after two years of pre-production, The Hobbit is on an indefinite hold, and Mr. Del Toro is walking away indefinitely. That's a shame. That is a shame. He definitely showed the heart. I mean, he moved himself and the family on location, they went down there, they did the two years of work. I mean, they're ready to shoot, so I mean, it is kind of disconcerting to see this film not being made. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think, do you think th- though, like, I mean, since the pre production and all that stuff is done, and they just do they do they have a shooting schedule so where like anybody can do it, or is it you know, well, I mean, is it just him or a lot of the cast left as well? No, there was no cast yet. I mean, there was... Just, yeah. Except like, for the like, regular... It was just like Ian art direction was one. finished. Oh, A few yeah. of the visual effects. Like, they had everything in line. It was just the fact that... 
I yeah. guess they just didn't own the rights to yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> like you would think they would fucking do that first. <laughs> like they're like, all right, wait, yeah. hold well, on, because they they figured like yeah. since like, they own Lord of the Rings that they could just grab the Hobbit. He's real, like, before we fast, shoot this, I mean, do we even can do we do this? Oh, shit. No, no, it's all great. It's like, oh yeah, go ahead, man. Do two years of work, and then we'll see where we really are from there. It's like going over someone's house and then finding out they're not home. I, I would say it's a little more than that. Because this guy like, like moved his analogy. family. Yeah. It's like it's like moving your family into the dude's house. I don't and know, then, man. like he's living there for nice two place, years. Though. And then he comes in. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> it's my house. Yeah. Well, he's New, like, Ze- oh, I New thought Zealand's we a good here. place, though. New Zealand's a good place. I mean, if you're going to move somewhere... It's pretty good Maybe vacation. not New Zealand, but New know. Zealand would be up there. I think you're a little biased because you just watched Flight of the Concords. I did. Yeah. Yeah. How was it, that? It was way? awesome, by the way. Yeah. You very recommended like a show to go to, so next time you guys go, uh, they come, you guys yeah. all got to go. Speaking of Flight of the Concords, kind of a little tidbit I heard, uh, Men in Black 3 yes, is Jermaine. being announced. Jermaine, wow. main villain. Main villain for... Men uh, in Black 3. I couldn't think of what a you think? better alien yeah. than, fucking than that guy. He is, Dude, uh, that man is funny as fuck. Yeah, he is. Very strong say, presence. Very funny. Very surreal. Um, I did not see Gentleman Broncos. Did you guys see that? Yeah, I did. Uh-uh. Was that good? Or? Dude, I, I liked was it, the... man. I mean, it was just as quirky as uh, Napoleon Dynamite. And I think that guy, uh, Jared Hess, just really, like, I think it was the M. Night Shyamalan uh, thing where he kind of just not dug himself in the corner, but he definitely has a definite style. And then, like, to veer off from that would be like a really weird thing to see you know yeah gentleman bronco was pretty good it had a lot of heart just like nacho libre did and just like napoleon dynamite and uh yeah man i really liked it Fantastic. and you guys see it no um i did watch parts of uh i think it's called the squid and the eagle have you ever it's seen that or what's shark it called? versus eagle oh shark it's a shark sorry wow now you look stupid <laughs> yeah i look like a fool right now if they can you were... see me through the fucking <laughs> magic of podcast <laughs> it's, i think i think you were mistaking it with a the squid, squid and the whale squid and the yeah. whale yeah, yeah. yeah. noah bombach again yeah. a really great writer if you ever you guys you guys ever seen margaret at the wedding uh yeah. does a lot of work with uh, wes anderson also Wes Anderson. Man. Be the ro- Good stuff. Have you guys seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? Written by Wes Anderson. Yeah, I've been wanting to see it. How is Dude, it? Dude, real good. I was kind of... I liked Up. I really love Up. And I'm glad it won the Oscars, but I thought Fantastic Mr. Fox had the edge over up it was such a smart movie really that, yeah. over up bro over up dude i dude. love up up dude, it gave up. me the cry ball dude. you know like yeah. up 30 minutes 15 <laughs> minutes in bro tears oh, yeah. tears cry, well i didn't have tears i had the cry ball and i pushed it down because i'm a man yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well, man. you didn't cry when his old wife died? <laughs> no, I just well, no, it, suppressed it. Fuck, man. Yeah, bro. You, you have no heart? I suppressed that shit. So you, su- you suppressed it in that ice box you call a heart, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Dark crevasse. I'm, I'm telling you, though. You guys have watched Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah, I heard great it was story. great. I heard it was great. Yeah. Up was great, too. Up I don't was know. Great, Up dude. was great, though. Pixar, man. I don't See, know. Like, I, mean, I like, I like, well, I'm not going to trash, you know, because I've never seen Fantastic Mr. Fox. But I thought Up was interesting because they tackled something that they rarely tackle in uh, in uh, uh, Disney that they haven't done in, in such a long time is death, really. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, the the one that comes to mind is uh, Bambi. That's the first, one of the first movies you actually yeah. deal with death on a child level. You know what I'm saying? But with <laughs> Up, you're like, holy fuck, dude. This dude's like living his life. They can't have babies. Yeah. And he's going to die an old fucking sour bastard. You yeah. know? Actually, even in like the beginning <laughs> opening sequence before the... <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's going to get a great oh, kick damn, out of the, uh, ba- the Bambi awesome. reference. That was awesome. Uh, yes. Um, but yeah, in the opening of... Uh, up before the house actually takes off. There's a sequence where I think one of the characters gets hit and actually he bleeds and there's red blood and that was a big deal that they actually talked about in a Pixar film, Disney movie. They usually don't oh, yeah, show definitely. the red like blood. Violence? Or yeah, anything. Like definitely, yeah. Like, yeah. Very good. Uh, very good. Yeah. I don't know. I thought there was a plenty of violence in Toy Story. Toy Story? Yeah, toys, toys. Got, like, toys got ripped up. That, that, that was a pretty dark like 
like you think that dude's gonna grow up to be like a serial killer? Who said? Like yeah, I don't know. He like he fucking like tortures his toys, bro, as if they have feelings. Then he's gonna no. graduate to like small no. animals. No, I think very dark. <laughs> I think he's gonna grow up to actually be real more crazy than anything. Cause like the right. toys come alive, and then he's gonna try to explain that shit for like ever. You know what I mean? He's, he's gonna go up to the next person he sees, yeah. or like some chick he's dating. He's just like, you know, toys are alive. Yeah. Like the the rest of his life, and then they're just gonna put him in a mental hospital. Oh, he's gonna be like, you know, like he's like, wait, hold on. And then right he's before gonna, you blow me, <laughs> let's. I need to tell you my fears. It's no, I don't. I, I don't even think he's gonna even get, get that far. Oh, he's not gonna get like, that far. No, because he's gonna walk into the chick's room, see a bunch of teddy bears, and just fucking freak out, flip freak out, out. And just like, dude, toys are fucking alive, and runs out that room. That's true, man. That's true. That's like, real. Right I would there. like to see part three. Oh, said appearance. Really? Yeah. Like, how much is there left to tell about toys, bro? <laughs> like, fuck, they're toys. Like, there's new toys. New toys. New toys. There's, there's, there's Kindle, dude. New right, so, Okay, the first new one. What was the first one about? Was like toys. The, like toys. Like, but their master or whatever's growing up, right? That is, no, the first oh, one was no, about uh, was rescuing right Buzz. Here. Yeah, oh, okay. Toys. He was the, the new toy. toy. The second so, one was about was rescuing deeper, Buzz. Though? Was it deeper? And the what? third one's about rescuing Buzz. Was the first one about Buzz realizing if he's a toy or is he human? Is there deeper Foxy? commentary yeah. going on there? I don't know. That is sorry. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's odd, bro. Because sure. like sure, he's like, and then Woody, he's like self-aware. <laughs> no, he's Deep. like fucking the the subplot. What about Woody being the second best toy and like dropping from one to two? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, very deep themes. Actually, that's, I mean, all joking aside, I mean, that's something Pixar is outstanding at, is just entertaining the uh, the yeah. adults and the children. You know, you have the pretty oh, yeah, shiny man. colors, and then We're, you have the deep Yeah, we deep definitely story have the that. intellectual yeah, exactly. fucking convo right now about but what is the underlying plot of <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> is like fucking, <laughs> is it like the self-awareness of Woody that he is a toy? And one day he will he will be worn out and his master will grow old. So when we were kids, did you <laughs> guys ever like... think you'd end up here? <laughs> yeah, Talking man. about Toy Story this kind of way. I don't know, man. I, yeah, I, I, to- was... I totally, uh, I, after watching Toy Story, I yeah. said to myself, you know, 10 years from now, I'm going to be talking about this movie. With my friends drinking beer. No, I can totally relate. <laughs> Sitting in the garage turned into a room. I know, Dude, I exactly. can totally relate with that movie just because of the fact, like, I know what it felt like to lose a toy. Yeah. You know what I mean? The first time I lost a fucking toy. There was and it. I, I remember it's fucking vividly. Was yeah. uh, I got all the fucking uh, Ninja Turtles, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And my favorite one was fucking Raphael. Because yeah. nobody wanted fucking... He was yeah. a bad Donat- boy. Dude, yeah, yeah. no one wanted Donatello. He was, he was a, a geek. faggot. Like, no, one was, <laughs> no one wanted that guy. Dude, fuck that guy. Everybody like, else had like, swords and he had a stick. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. it's they're like, like no one wanted the fucking nerd. You know what I mean? And no like, one, like, I didn't like Leonardo either. That's how I feel about Cyclops. I'm dude, like, fuck yeah, that guy. dude, like, fuck no one likes nigga. Cyclops and no one likes fucking Leonardo because of the fact that they remind you of the captain of the football team. Yeah, and that he's always mean. You know what I mean? I fucking love Leonardo so. I don't really? Know what that says about I don't know, me. man. He had two swords. I don't know. He had oh, two you're swords, a dude. <laughs> two katanas. No, see, because I, I like you know, and two cocks. It also, it exact also didn't thing. help. <laughs> it also didn't help too, because like Raph back. was like a badass in the, the old movie. No, you, you know remember? what really helped was that they were in New York, and then Ralph was the only New Yorker. Yeah, I mean, good point, like, bro. Good I'm like, point. where did Michael Angelo... Like, no one had a fucking New York accent <laughs> yeah, exactly, but Raph, about bro. Raph, dude. It's like, where the hell did I he mean, grow he, up, bro? I like Raph because he was the guy that made the most sense. Like, all yeah. the rest of them grew up in Connecticut and fucking <laughs> Raphael grew up in Bronx and shit. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, uh, Michael Angelo grew up in California, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess, right? Mikey. I was, I, I was a Mikey guy. I don't yeah. know. No, Mike was cool. Mike, yeah, Mike, he, was, he, was cool. Cool, he was the cool, like, skateboard. He was the cool, laid back dude. But Raph was all business. He was more business than fucking Leo, because Leo was like, "All right, let's fucking do this for the good of whatever." But Raph was like, "No, let's punish these motherfuckers." You know what I mean? He was the fucking mean one, you know. Yeah. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> So, all right. Wait, I had all of them, right? I yes. even had the fucking van. You know Fuck, what I'm saying? You had the, the van, dude? That, the van. Oh, I, was that, I was that kid. I was that, that kid, kid on the street, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. That you had the rich kid. Van. Van. You were the rich kid. <laughs> that had the van. I had the proton pack. The fucking. Nice. You know what I'm saying? You. I was the that kid, bro. Phone Fuck that just, like, you. Yeah, I was that kid. There's a little wave. So, anyway, so I go out. I go out the fucking playground and shit, and I'm playing with all four of them. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, we're going to get fucking shredder. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, uh, 
you know, and then and then I heard, I remember my mom calling me from like far away because we lived in like a poor fucking you know, like I don't want to say projects, but it was like fucking you like projects? all all yeah. the fucking houses were like connected and like they're really <laughs> small and shit. But I can hear her calling me, so I ran out there, and then uh, you know, you know, I went and ate lunch or whatever, and and I totally forgot. I was like, fuck, my fucking Ninja Turtles are out there. You know, because that's that's where my mind goes first is food. Of course, you know? <laughs> it looks like it. Because <laughs> I'm like, what? It definitely food? looks like your mind. I'm like, goes fuck food this. <laughs> like, you know, like fuck this. Food's delicious. <laughs> so, I come back, and you know, obviously they're all gone. Some motherfuckers, like you know, swiped it. Oh, so, man. all four or? Oh, um, uh, oddly enough, they only took <laughs> Raphael. Oh bro. wow. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, I that. guess no one, like anyone <laughs> yeah. else. Or I could have lost it on the way back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that could have happened. But, you know, it, I'd rather have a face to it yeah. because yeah. it makes, yeah. you know. But right. that right. feeling I felt, though, you know, it's. Oh, yeah. It the trail. You were Andy. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was hor- it, it's not like my mom can go back and like, oh, I'll buy you a new one. Because that was my motherfucking Raphael. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I know. Then you lived in the project. So. Yeah, so I'm guessing you <laughs> so were like you, me. Your mom was I mean, like tough shit. I mean, like yeah. that shit for yeah. her to buy you yeah. all four Ninja Turtles plus well, the van. You know, dude, like it's gonna there's be another four years for that to happen. Exactly. There's a misconception <laughs> about <turtle> poor <laughs> and eating One well. One Ninja Turtle a year, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a misconception about being poor and eating well, bro. When you got like food stamps, all you can spend it on food. So you get good ass food. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Reagan, so Reagan. you know where you're coming from. Dude. Yeah, totally you go relate. you go to like totally the Salvation relate. Army, bro. They give you the fucking like free bread and free the fucking meat and shit. Wonder Bread, the kids, yeah. and it and <laughs> it's and it's always in a white box that Hell just yeah. has the words, bro. Yep. Like so bread. <laughs> they couldn't afford it's to pay like, Cheerios. It's like fucking bread. roast <laughs> beef. That's it. It's like uh, okay, so toys are awesome. Yeah. Toys are good. Um, news even better. There's more of it out there. Anybody okay. else got any stories? Uh, Floating around, interesting. Yeah, yeah, today, I, I, today, I actually just saw um, the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World trailer, the new one, trailer mm. number two. Trailer. You guys haven't I'm seen gonna it? have to wait until I see the movie. Oh, dude, I'm not that excited about it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut, shut down. Up right shut down. Shut up right now. I'm know. just joking, Bobby. I know, dude, I know, I know. how do you not get excited over an Edgar Wright movie? That man is probably like the new. The new I don't know. He's the new man. <laughs> he's the new man on the block. The new, uh, the new Ridley Scott. I don't know. No, dude. I wouldn't just, even say Matt Beck. I do too. Yeah. I love no. Edgar Wright. I just yeah. don't feel with Michael Cera. I don't dude, think Michael Cera can kick anybody's ass. George dude, Michael, bro. Dude, George Michael. Yeah, exactly. George Michael dude, Blue. You had, he should have like, retired after Rest of Development. I don't know, dude. Wow. I think uh, Edgar Wright is definitely... It's definitely one of these... Like, one of those movies that's going to shape Michael... Sarah's career. I mean, like he's really. Had, like, You're making that claim. Yeah, I'm gonna make that claim. I mean, like we'll come did, back to this episode. Yeah, that is Eugene Delacruz. Yeah, dude, he making he that claim. did Arrested <laughs> Development, and then he definitely blew up there. Yeah. And then I mean, he segues <sighs> into um, you know, Super Bad. I mean, he was good there, Look, but like every character after Super Bad has been the same. Yeah, and I think sure. this is like one of those movies where. He, it's gonna be like a different enough character that it, it is gonna add to the canon. You know, really, the I don't think canon, so. Bro. I, don't I, think I think it's so. just another fucking like He's... movie where it's like, hey, I'm Ma- George <laughs> Michael Blue. <laughs> I'm awkward I've, I've around seen... women. Well, I don't know. Like, no, did you, you see the trailer? Have you seen the trailer? The, yeah. His alter ego has a mustache. Oh, that's <laughs> the youth, youth and <laughs> no, revolt. No, no, yeah, youth and revolt. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, dude, Scott Pilgrim, have you, guys, have you guys seen any <laughs> of the trailer? I haven't. No, dude, but like I said, every, yeah. I get my Michael Cera movies mixed up. Um, what, what actually got me worried was, I wonder why. confused, <laughs> was uh, the, the Kick-Ass and the uh, Scott Pilgrim coming out at the same yeah. time. They seem very similar. Kick-Ass came out first, kicked ass. Um, but I will have to say, Edgar Wright, I mean, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, fucking love him. But he does not have space. I mean, he space. is fans Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, so I don't know. He's they've done like uh, screen tests on yes. this movie already with the wires, and then across the board, it's yeah. always gotten good reviews. I mean, he's a great director. Yeah, he, yeah, he is a good director. His transitions are oh yeah, dude. genius, bro. I would dude. genius. Just, just cuts get, and I'd, hot fuzz. Get out of my head, sir. <laughs> <laughs> just about to say, just about to say, yeah, like, fantastic transition. Like, I mean, the d- transitions in space are yeah. amazing, dude. Oh, just like, even wow. just the style of this movie. If you guys watch the trailer, it, it's much different from Shaun of the Dead, and um, it's heavy anime. Not yeah. only that, there's a shit ton of hot girls in it. 
I mean, but, I don't what's know. the name See, of that's that my show? other problem. There's a, there's a shit ton of hot girls in porn, bro. Yeah, yeah. so. But, and yeah. that's great. Yeah. I mean, hey. yeah, and it's awesome, right? Hey, man, I don't want to okay, go back to the shit ton story, bro. But I'm just <laughs> saying, the, I think it is one of those movies that it, it, it'll it help Michael Sauer's career. Like, it'll different, It's I think it's a different enough movie from everything else I, that. I, I, I really will, doubt that. I think, I, yeah. Have you seen the trailer? No, there? I think what, what. If if you were to ask me like, hey man, what could fucking flip the shit on Michael Sarah's like, like role choice and shit? I'd be like, dude, do a drama, bro. Oh yeah, do a fucking drama. Like, do one where you fucking like you have AIDS or some shit, or like you're well, a fucking think... boxer and your trainer has to put you down because like you got paralyzed. Well, I don't you think fell I don't think stool. he's established <laughs> enough for him to be doing a drama. I think. An action movie, like to go from comedy. What's that was that was movie? million dollar baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, to man. go from comedy into action movie is a much easier transition than to just go from drama from comedy to drama. Wait, so I you're mean, calling this an action movie? It is. Yeah, there's fighting in it. <laughs> it's a action rom com. No, See, I, I don't know. Like uh, action movie. It's tricky. But have yeah. you even seen any of anything? Dude, I seen the trailer, bro. The new I one. Seen, have well, you seen no, the new I haven't one? seen the new trailer. Okay, well, I just the, know that the Chris first Evans trailer is like, to me was more of a he's teaser like, hey trailer. man, I'm gonna be the new fucking Captain America, so eat it, bro. So, <laughs> I, I get, yeah, I understand. I, I, and there's a lot of good people in there. I mean, J- Chris in Evans it. in there, Jason Schwartzman. I mean, we're, t- we're talking new ter- new material. Um, awkward, outcast. Mm-hmm. Monster the girl, huh? Socially awkward, can't oh, communicate. I um, wonder what movie yeah. that is. <laughs> I mean, every, every, I mean, that, every movie he Incredible made. Incredible range. <laughs> but I, I think you guys are forgetting no. the fact that this is an Edgar Wright movie, and it's gonna be badass. Edgar Wright, I mean, no, I've seen the Edgar absolute Wright, saving grace yeah, of this for project. Sure. Yeah, for sure. And but, also, the f- I, I'll give you credit, Eugene. I have not seen the new cut. I did see the first trailer. The first trailer was pretty hip, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, Look, man, I am a little gun shy of Michael Sarah. I mean. If Edgar Wright can make like me believe dude. Michael Sarah can kick anybody's ass, I'll crown him king and watch anything <laughs> he ever makes from now on. Dude, I will. Wa- I think it, I will watch anything Edgar Wright does since Sean yeah. of the Dead. I thought the dude was just hip, saw his face. It was just I don't know. dude like consistently just been a really good director and good if, writer. So I think if McLovin could work in Kick Ass, Michael Sarah could probably work. I in mean, this. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm willing sure. to give it a dude, shot. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll there. We'll I see. think. I I'm, still gonna gonna watch it, yeah. I'm still gonna wait. I'm still gonna. I'll <laughs> see it opening day, but I'm still gonna. Bobby, I'll, I'm, I'm I'll watch it. Ed, I'll watch it, bro. Edgar Wright. I'm not gonna. You are. I'm not gonna suck his dick Reno, before bro. I watch it, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, that's all. I, I'm, that's no, all I'm saying. No, that's all I'm saying. You're definitely gonna watch it because you live in Reno. I mean, what does that mean? What the fuck is that supposed to do? What do you elaborate on the commentary? Well, you're either gonna play paintball or watch a movie. <laughs> okay. Not everybody in. Well, okay, all right, me you. especially. Yeah. 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 I'm okay. not. I'm not talking about like the yeah. Reno. Yeah. The Reno I'll, population look, I'll, I'll in general. I'll watch the movie. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just you just, you, you want finish. me to be? You want me to claim? <laughs> no, that I'm not. Fucking... I'm not saying. Yeah. Our one I'm van in Reno it just went away. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we lost him. Sorry, I Michael know, Sarah, bro. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, I'm just trying to make a point that. I think it is one of those yeah. movies that I think Looks will good. add to his canon. I mean, yeah. it's different enough from Well, it adds to else. his canon, but I'm not going to say it's going to, like, fucking change the face of Michael Sarah. By no means. That's what I'm... My, that's my Very argument. Good. I'm with Casey on this one. Very good. Talking about changing face. Um, <laughs> Donald Glover um, of Community Fame. He... Small bit role. This is kind of a fun story. Not really debatable the truth on this. But uh, of Don, Derek Comedy member, Donald Glover started an online petition um, okay. to get himself an audition... As the leading role in Spider-Man, um, craziness kind of took off. It got tr- trended on Twitter, um, started a Facebook page, a couple thousand followers. It's, it has a front page story on SlashFilm.com. Um, that, talk about reboots. Um, what do you guys think? I don't know. It's a, I don't know how viable or realistic it is. But, uh, That's him? <laughs> not realistic at all. At all. Wait, wait. So he's going to play Peter Parker? Well, he's what he did was is he started. He got on Twitter, got all his followers lined up. He says, "Get me an audition for the role." So basically, they started an online petition. There's Facebook pages being made, and he's trying to get an audition for the role of Spider-Man. This young, uh, for the viewing audience who is unfamiliar, African American stand-up comedian. Um, you know, what an Afro. Know. This this is a this would be a who is weird, also born uh, in America. 
It's, it is a strange, like, you know. Like, I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't because, be against it. Yeah, because he's, he's a good actor. He's like, a good actor. Because, no, because just because, like, the fact is, like, you know, um, in, especially in comic book roles, they change gen, like, you know, well, I wouldn't say gender, but, you know, race all the time. You know, you take Nick Fury, which yes. originally he was a white guy, but then they switched it to a black guy and now back to a white guy and then back to a black guy. You know, who's to say Peter Parker can't do the same? You know what I mean? I mean, there's, there's enough Spider-Man movies to have a different variation, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And but, there's that song you know. by Outcast, Mrs. Parker. I'm sorry, Mrs. Parker. Sorry, Mrs. Jackson. Mrs. Oh, shit. Mrs. Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. Wow, bro. Cut. Wow. Dude. Cut. Right, Dude, no. what the hell? And we're back. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I, I think I was getting mixed up with Rosa Parks. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, added Jackson. I don't know. Miss so, Rosa I'm Parker. Gonna talk, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna skip I see what this. you're saying. I'm gonna skip this segment. But it's like Spider Man's such a huge iconic character. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Like, you know, it's it's like, you know, we're, like we were talking before the Yeah. Before this, the the uh the rumor with uh Will Smith playing a black uh Super Clark Man. Kent. Yes. Yeah. Which, you know, I don't know. You know, that's 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 a strange like uh I don't think it's ever gonna happen. No, well, no, you know happen. like even well, yeah, there in was, the world. There was Meteor Man. Anybody catch the Meteor Man? <laughs> Classic. Robert I mean, <laughs> Blank like, if Man. The dude, Blank if, Man's Blank my, Man. one of my favorites. I, if yes. the dude's just asking for an audition, I mean, why not? We'll give it to him. You know, yeah. It's an audition. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, if you already, like, how many auditions have you had? Like, where we just knew the guy was never yeah. going to get the role, but you let him talk anyway. You, know? yeah, we'll see, like, you don't like, let him talk long, like, but you like, let him okay. talk. Like, you know, like, when you think about, like, <laughs> all right, Peter Parker, is it, is it, um... Is it vital that he's a white guy? Yeah. See, because, no. all right, you take, so. you take like, you know... All like right, sh- no, no, you got to think about it this way, too. If, <laughs> if Peter Parker isn't... If, like, let's Cut say off. they did change Peter Parker to a black guy, then Uncle Ben would have to be a black guy. And so would Aunt May <laughs> <laughs> be a black lady. No, Uncle Ben's rice. Tying. <laughs> oh, that's oh, awful. Yeah, well, <laughs> 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 Dean Pitzelfrey. Now, now we know. Dean <laughs> Dean. His email is linked. You, you can, can find me at there. Eugene at contact Eugene at <laughs> um, it's Eugene De La Cruz. Yeah. Any uh, any any hate mail go to Eugene. Whoa. Anyways, a lot of not going on here. No, no. <laughs> no, you could ask any black guy. Okay. I, did, I did get it back. Should we get your sad card back? Be better. Anyways, what are we right. talking about? Um, so I mean, as far as news goes, that's pretty much is it. As far as what I have in my queue. Um, Kind of open it up for whatever, man. We have Casey and from Reno. We got some. What's going, what's going on, man? Right on, man. Right what's going on, on in our collective film lines? Anything? Exciting? Um, anything going on? We should commentate on since we're all mic'd up <laughs> <laughs> and or almost drunk. Movies, no, man. Really. Movies, I get shit going on. Um, actually, yeah, I got you guys uh, last week uh, after the session. Um, Bobby picked up Battle Royale. I lent that to him. Eugene Battle Royale too. Actually, you know what? Let's follow I up. Know, There's a watch. part two. <laughs> yeah, there is. He didn't watch I it. actually, yeah, I didn't get to watch. I ended up watching Battle Douchebag. Royale one <laughs> again because it was Man. on there. So I ended up watching Battle Royale one again. And then... Cool, Soto. Oh, I loved it. What you think? Pissed off I didn't, didn't see it earlier. Yeah. I so, it. so what the do you? I know, I know we talked about it last week, but Sorry. what do you think about the 3D, like the 3D conversion of that movie? Of Battle Royale? Yeah. It'd be horrible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to upconvert that movie to 3D. I mean, I thought Speaking it was too 3D, desaturated. Like... Oh, sorry. Like... I mean, it's such a desaturated movie. I don't think it would work. No. And not only that, compositionally, everything was too close for everything. And, you know, heads were getting cut off and really? whatnot. So, like, not enough shit not... jumping out <laughs> at you. Not like, not like, hey, hey, not fucking... There's not even enough shit. Like, <laughs> fu- like grass. <laughs> shit, like, there's not even enough shit far, far back for, yeah. it, for it to look good in 3D, so... All right. no, man. Speaking of 3D, I, I was at Best Buy the other day, yes. and I kind of like, you know, they have the 3D TV, yeah. so I like, I sat there and I like put on the glasses and shit, and like, I was like, oh, fucking cool, 3D. It didn't seem that 3D mm. to me, but, you know, I mean, what, what's your thoughts on that? Wait, what was the price? The, the prices are fucking insane, what by the way. Like? Just for the goggles, it's like a fucking hundred dollars. Oh shit! Of course, now, goggles they do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this home 3D experience? Is it comparable to the Avatar experience? I would say not. 
Yeah, because so. like it seems because I haven't checked it out yet. So. But what movie were they playing in three? They're playing the uh, what is it? Uh, Aliens versus monsters. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So which was kind of made for three D. Yeah, like, yeah. They made that to gauge towards three D. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean. Like I said, to me, 3D looks more like a pop-up book, if anything, except for Avatar. This is true. Avatar yeah. looked like this, a window. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Avatar definitely. was more of a window. But, I mean, but, but we're talking, like, where's this content coming from? I mean, we, you spend X amount of dollars on a 3D TV. You buy your two or three DVD videos. I mean, is cable networks, is this going to be a viable platform in the future? I don't know. I mean, it just as far as production yeah, standpoint, like, I'm, I'm, I'm totally gimmick. unfamiliar with filming with it mm -hmm. so say once you do shoot in this 3d format you just toggle a switch and then you have a 2d or do you have to go back I mean, and i mean uh, i don't know i mean exactly like <laughs> um and then uh, is it worth it i don't know it's not worth it. i mean we just had <laughs> nav here and uh everyone oh just about everyone who was shooting anything in nav was uh they were shooting with 3d cameras with brand new 3d cameras they even See, have like 3d cameras for phones yeah. now too, how, so. how i weigh in with the 3d is like um you know, with, with the advent of, like, everything becoming online and whatnot, you know what I mean? Like, Netflix and, like, it's it's becoming more movies, you know, you can enjoy from your home type of deal. Like, you don't even have to leave your yeah. house type of thing. And I think the 3D would add a little bit more entertainment, more, more there's a reason why to come to the movie theater type of thing, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe that's, they're well, trying to secure a future in, like, you know, theaters. I don't, you know what I mean? But like, I feel yeah. like... It, if you're gonna make a 3D movie, make a 3D movie. Make it for 3D. Make it like fucking 3D, like yeah, motherfuckers like, like, don't, dressed don't, up in costume while you're watching. Exactly. It. Like when you write, like <laughs> when you're writing, like when Smell they're gonna write a movie. Well, fumes. In the when they're writing a movie, maybe have 3D, and you want it in 3D, have 3D in mind. You know, like yeah. you make the scenes that. Oh fit. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, dude, I'm not, sure. I'm not, I'm not I mean, fucking saying make it like comical where they're like, "Hey, catch this no, tomato." But that's, but that's the thing. It's just like. You know, like, 3D is exclusive to horror movies and uh, action movies. Like, would you, you know, waste all that money to make a 3D drama? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you ask me, like, dude, hey, I man. totally want to see fucking uh, a, a 3D good drama. Mind. Yeah, you know what? A, a good, notebook in 3D. A good, uh, <laughs> Dear John. A beautiful mind would actually, oh. you know, wouldn't be too bad in 3D. <laughs> well, you yeah, know? Be yeah, could be because of all the, you know. You the, know, I, I would not knock any new idea. Just the fact that I can't, you know. Yeah. Rationalize it right it. now. Get my head around it. Yeah. No, but I think a three D drama would be kind of I don't know. It'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> it'd be yeah. clear the scenes, but would know. you really pay the extra ten dollars? <laughs> would you pay like three D for I, Rocky I, for I, I am Sam in three D. <laughs> <laughs> my left foot in three D. <laughs> Schindler's List. <laughs> Schindler's List wow. in three D. Wow. Sophie's Choice in three D. Yeah. Yeah. Into you the know, blue. Oh, it's, it's, it's round. <laughs> you know, um, what, you know what I was glad to not see in 3D was a uh, Watchmen. Yeah, thank God. It what, did that come out in 3D? No, like, it didn't. Okay. No, so it was a strictly 2D <laughs> movie, which was great because you know, big fucking mm -hmm. 3D penis in your face and just not be a Bruno good thing. I, in 3D would have been horrible. Which horrible. I heard about Bruno. <laughs> Bruno <laughs> about the movie. Helicopter. <laughs> the helicopter. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> for 3D to really take off, for me personally, at least at the home theater aspect, it, it has to be glasses free. I mean, think about oh, hunting, yeah. hunting, yeah. The, hunting the remote down. I mean, unless, of course, the early adopters, the super rich, they're going to have it. They're going to have their five pairs of $100 glasses. But, I mean, if you're a family, you, you're going to want to sit down and watch a film. I mean, you know, want to hunt down these glasses. You got to sit in the right spot. It just seems like... Kind of a so hassle. A hassle. It, it, it's just I don't know. Yeah, I just, think you're stepping in a hologram territory there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> What's that? It's fucking home holodeck, know, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you walk in, you're like, fucking. Yeah, it, I want a sword fight right yeah. now. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. You're Nittal, stepping into, Nittal's Nittal's st into stark technologies here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like uh, holographic technology. Pornography. Yeah, yeah. When you think about when we were kids, we started with what 32 bit, oh, yeah. and then yeah. And now we're like fully awesome. interactive video games. Oh yeah, you ever, I always think about like how how lucky the fucking kids are today. I know. Right? <laughs> like, I'm like you fuck. This is your 32 bit. Yeah. Just imagine what the hell is gonna happen when they're like 30 years old. Yeah, back when uh, James Cameron was doing uh, Abyss, he was working off like a 16 bit. Rap oh yeah, computer, for sure, dude. man. Like, was, I mean, your man. fucking phone yeah. has more memory, has more memory than memory the computer that, that, that fucking the, made the Abyss, the abyss dude. I guess Insane. it was like so. What excuse did we rendered. have? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the editing software for the uh, the iPhone? Yeah, I don't know. 
Well, apparently Eugene has a good excuse. He just started his new job. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, a week ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a week ago. <laughs> Tied him up job. for <laughs> Tied him up for years, dude. Oh, <laughs> Can't never watch any movie again. It's, 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 I watching more movies. Yeah. But then again, like to my defense, there hasn't been any movies worth watching. It really like, hasn't. I mean, um, like I know Shrek came out. Sex and the City, dude. I heard dude. Shrek was good. Like, really? Anymore. Who'd you I hear it from? Who, yeah, who'd you hear that from, bro? From my ki- like my nephew. Of course, you were say yeah, kids. of course you'd like that. Well, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes would disagree with your. Nephew. Well, Rotten ah. Tomatoes, it's like it's gotten a fifty-two percent. Like I said, anything below sixty-four percent, I don't know. It's like one of those movies that was very iffy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Rotten 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 Tomatoes. I think your, yeah, I'm gonna hold really a, real, uh, a higher regard. I have a higher number, but to Rotten Tomatoes, no offense, I'm gonna hold Rotten Tomatoes at a higher regard than your nephew. <laughs> well, you gotta consider like they're yeah, not yeah. making the movie for you, bro. They're like, let's make it for fucking twenty something fucking dudes who watch. I don't know, man. The like it, the Shrek, why <laughs> Shrek was such a big movie was because it catered to the twenty something. I audience. For I would say actor. they made a movie that's enjoyable by all a later you know age group, but I, I wouldn't say it was you know gauged towards them. I didn't say that it was Gage. I said, nice. you know, they had they had him in mind too. You know what I mean? Like how smart the jokes are in like Shrek. Yeah. yeah. And that's why it actually I kicked, seen. like it won the Oscar over was it Monsters Monsters Monster. Inc. Yeah, it beat Monsters Inc. Yeah, it was Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. I've not seen Shrek. I think the last one I saw the was only two. Pixar movie know. that not went to not win an Oscar. Well, you know, not to hate on Pixar, but you know, Monsters Inc. was kind of weak. Yeah. Is that blasphemous? I really like Monsters. It's like a whore in church in here. It got Monsters. quiet. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did not see Monsters, Inc. You didn't no? see Monsters? I would say the saw, weakest Pixar or hold movie. On, the Pixar movie. Okay, cars. Yeah. I was thinking I Monsters vs. Aliens. Cars, bro? I Monsters cannot Inc. hate. Oh, yeah? You yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. It was good. I mean, yeah. yo. I thought yeah, it was the, so cool. the blue guy. Or See, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are yeah. you are you giving are you are you giving the knock on cars because it's the whole fucking no I just, car? I just didn't like the I didn't like the story. How I mean, could you like, not like Doc Hollywood, bro? Have you seen Doc Hollywood? Basically, same yeah, plot, yeah. bro. Same. No, I, don't. Yeah. Big, I like Doc Hollywood. I don't like cars. <laughs> haven't seen cars either. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, just watch yeah, Doc Hollywood, much. bro. <laughs> and just yeah, and just imagine them as cars, bro. Imagine them as cars. Yeah. There you go. I don't know, but tune in next week for our in-depth analysis of Bolt. <laughs> I've never seen Bolt. <laughs> Bolt was nice. I saw I, Bolt. I like Bolt was funny. Yeah. Was Bolt good? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it was on, uh, we highlighted the trailer on season one, Real Men. Yeah. Anyways, in Real. the theater, I just looked it up, uh, Splice. What do you guys know about that? Oh, I saw the trailer for that. Actually, Vincenzo uh, Natale, he, did, uh, he directed The Cube, Guillermo del, Nothing. Uh, Guillermo good... del Toro was... Uh... The producer ah. first place seems interesting. I mean, it's got uh, eighty six on the Rotten Tomatoes. It kind of has a species vibe going on. <laughs> I was yeah, there we go. reading my mind. <laughs> Out of my mind, sir. <laughs> got my eye on you. But you, you know what? A I, you know, I. Oh, yeah. uh, the more I watch movies, and yeah. the more you get fooled by the trailers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know, Splice could actually be really awesome. Am I just counting it off as species? You know what I mean? That's. You know, I don't want to make that claim, yeah. but that's that's what the uh, the trailer is making it look like. It's like, hey, it's another species. Yeah, yeah, like hot yeah. alien chick gonna yeah. bone dudes and lay eggs in them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I that's what I you know role reversal. That'd yes. be my way to die. <laughs> Get boned and lay yeah. eggs in. <laughs> Wait, so I the girl see that happening. So the girl would be boning you and laying the eggs inside, or I guess you never said yeah. girl. I don't know. Or what? Wait, like you're boning her? No, I'd have you like. <laughs> how do you like? How does that work? How does a chick bone you? No, how does the chick lay eggs? In? I don't know, man. That tail. There's ways. It's a new know. species. There's ways. And this like, is real men after hours. We get dirty, so. Oh, oh, are we, every like, female audience member. Is this for? You know, is we go on PG or no? no, no. We're very explicit, really. But we just get raunchy in the last yeah. uh, the last bit. We get pretty dirty. So, so is it, trying to go for X. We, I we, think it's because of all the beers. We can say cock shit, fuck, <laughs> cunt, cunt. That's fuck. such a hard word. That word. We're bringing it back. Cunt. Yeah. Cunt. The loose film's bringing cunt back <laughs> <laughs> for everyday use. For yeah. America. Yeah, like we're it. bringing it back for America. I think Britain has had it too long, bro. Exactly. They used it too much, you know. 
we can give them bastard. We don't, you know, bastard's kind of like almost passe. No, no, like, you can have tame. that. Yeah. Very tame. So you say it on the they say it on the Saturday morning cartoons now. Wow. Really? No. Oh, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, what cartoons are you watching? He's like, look out. <laughs> look out, Batman. Oh, that what a bastard, bastard over there. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Yeah. It's very good. Um yeah, I don't know. Splice it's though, like, yeah. I'm always I'm always up for uh, <laughs> welcome welcome to Ramblecast. <laughs> where we just aimlessly talk. Well, no, I'm, <laughs> I I'm always a fan of like upcoming sci-fi, you know, because it's, it's yeah you know, it's yeah yeah because it's good. No, sorry, I was I was paying attention because <laughs> you, you're like pointing at your watch, and I was like, what? Wrap that shit up, B, or what? <laughs> What's going on? No, it's not oh. Dean. Oh. Just like, time. Right. Um, we actually we are uh, a little bit over fifty six minutes. Oh, are we gonna Four keep going or talk what? About are you in? Quick, talk about Spice some more. I'm cool. We gotta fill that up. up. Or, I don't know. What, I don't what know. upcoming movies are you guys looking forward to see? Keep I'm going. looking forward to seeing 18. Dun, 18. Dun, dun, Just to hear the damn song. Dun, dun, Love that dun, song. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think if you take your filmmaker's hat off, kind of like what Kissy was talking about, yeah. just don't be cynical. I mean, it looks really fun. I mean, it looks mm-hmm. the character. I mean, the, uh, you got the guy from District Nine. Glad to see him in it. Um, Vickis. Really? I'm Wait, kinda, yeah. I don't know. Who yeah. was he? Uh, Who was he? Was he? No, not in Vickis. <laughs> Look, Vickis. He had like a weird name. name was. Is yeah, he but, Hannibal? Or he's no, like, he's uh, Murdoch. Murdoch. He's you were right Murdoch? last week. Yes, DC, sir. By the way. Wow. I was wrong. Talk about fucking pulling your acting card out, bro. Dude, you just got his shit together. The only person that yep. really has me nervous, I guess, is Rampage for the obvious reason. No, I think right? he's going to pull it off. You think so? Yeah. I don't know, man. He doesn't have to act. The acting doesn't have to act. The acting ability of Mr. T is questionable, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, he looks the part, but I think... Very true, very true. I'm, I'm, I'm just more scared for the, I guess, the nostalgia yeah. of the Mr. T character. I mean, B.A. is B. A. like, I mean, he's like Bacchus, the most popular. What is it, Baracus? Baracus. B.A. Yeah. Baracus. I mean, like, he is the most iconic character out of the A-team. And, yeah. He is, for sure. And then you're just worried well, that, the you van. know, like... The van is the van. probably <laughs> the... Yeah. That's pretty big. Anyways. I just want to see him pity fools, bro, the yeah. whole time. But I don't know. We're all pretty young here. Do any of us have any kind of... As the A-team, bro? I don't 18, know. I think, I mean, I think that was a little bit it? of both b- before my time. Me too. No, you know? I remember watching A-team and Chips back-to-back on TNT. Wow, bro. You were like Following a chi- the adventure of true child of the 80s, you know, dude. Wow. <laughs> you know what the... Yeah. Own it, sir. Nice. Yeah. Like, Early TNT show I watched show the good A-team, stuff. and that's because... You remember this whole Hogan show? Where he had like thunder, this, thunder, dude, of days, days of, of thunder, thunder, bro. Days of, yeah. days of thunder. He had the high sick. No, he had the high No, thunder Mr. in paradise. Mom? Thunder in paradise. Yes. Yes. There you go. Where it was the boat? Where's the fucking? He had the yeah, fucking yeah, boat. Yeah, for, lives. So like the A team would come. Like uh, I would watch the uh, thunder in paradise, and the A team would come on right afterwards. But dude, both hmm. shows were very similar. I mean, like yeah. Hulk Hogan remind me of Baracus. Just like when you think about A team, it's just a grown up version of. Scooby Doo, <laughs> fucking four people <laughs> milling around in a van solving mysteries, bro. Scooby Doo with guns, dude. Yeah, yeah. Scooby Doo with guns. Yeah, helping out the fucking little guy. And just like Scooby Doo, they're Casey getting just blew chased my by mind, the dude. government. <laughs> like and just like Scooby Doo, the like, mystery they're getting chased by um, the government. Yeah, exactly, bro. Wow. You know, r- you know, like, replace the government with a guy in a rubber mask, <laughs> a, a, like a guy, like being a fucking pirate ghost with a rubber mask on. Then yes. government. You know, I'll watch any movie where a tank is falling and yes. it shoots down like a hair. <laughs> yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll watch any movie that has that in it. So really, I don't know. All right, well, um, that's eighteen, eighteen. Wrap it up, or okay. Um, I guess we pretty much tapped everything dry. There's to talk about this week. Um, yeah, I want to talk about stuff next week too. Uh, yeah. You will want to talk about stuff next week as well. <laughs> uh, this is episode number two. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Um, thank you for tuning in. This is Dean Pizzferrato. It's Bobby Soto. Eugene De La Cruz. And Frank Carpenter. Or AC. <laughs> you choose. <laughs> Catch you guys next week, and thank you for tuning in. Yeah. Later. Bye. Later. Later.